Hey, good morning. Going to be looking at the Menthon commercial. It will be fine. I've been meaning to get this out to you guys for a while. I have this older video of a Menthon commercial. I'll add the link. If I forget, please remind me. But this one came out May 24th. Let's just take a quick look. Did you notice the number? I'll pause it just in case, halfway. Let's pause it one more time just in case. Now you see what's going on. All right, sorry about that. Had to cut it into pieces because it's a commercial. They will take it down. But I'll add the link in case they didn't even allow those parts. But as you notice, it started with the big M. We just went over the hand signs, right, the other day, how they show the M. M equals 13. We've been talking about this so much that I don't think I need to show a lot of that with you. But anyway, the title was, It Will Be Fine, Suck a Minthon. The goalie yells, How will it go, Becca, at this point? And yeah, how will it go? He goes on and he looks, he looks nervous. Three players on one side, four on the other. There's your seven. But then they whisper, It'll, it's not going to go well, Becca. And now there's three. Hmm. Two with blue and the other black and white. Interesting, right? Uh-huh. Well, four and two now are behind him and he's preparing. He doesn't know what to do. He's, the goalie's still yelling, How will it go? Notice what he has on his shirt. We'll zoom in in just a second, but just to give you a little hint, yeah, it's the cube, the Saturn. You see it all over the place. It doesn't matter. They do it in different ways on commercials and wherever, but you know where it derives from as well as I do, all the way back from the Egyptian times. And there now, maybe you can see the the symbol there a little better. It is a black cube. But anyhow... But hold on, did you catch? I really tried to show you something. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Did you catch what number was on his jersey? What could be that lucky Freemason number? Mm, right, Taylor Swift's lucky 13. There you have it. I can't believe it. There's a better look. I tried to slow it down so I could catch that number. Took me a couple tries, but yeah, it's the lucky 13. Ah, right. Of course, of course. But anyway, we have to keep going because I only have a certain amount of time and I have a lot to cover here. You see the smudges on his face, absolutely. Even blood coming from his ear. Kind of makes me think of what might be going on in the future with music and other things. And But anyway, we'll get to that too. He notices that right there. Ah, relaxing mint box. Hmm... Right, they zoom in even closer. You see their flip-flops and so much more. And just wanted to show you the numbers, by the way, of Minthon, in case you were wondering. Some of their favorite numbers are in there, just FYI. But then he says, the mint box says, Becca, Becca, suck on a Minthon. Yeah, I'm sure you notice all the other things. Plus, it's his mouth is at the spot of the O, which is like 15, right? Yeah, they love that magic number 15 of Saturn. So he throws that mint in his mouth and woof, he already looks shocked. One lightning strike comes. It goes so fast, I know. Two lightning strikes, you really have to slow it down. And then there's three and he's on his knees, hands and knees, like an animal. What's going on here, he says. And then more lightning upgrade yourself it says notice that the lightning even kind of looks like it gets into his brain his face almost looks like a skull on the bottom right i'm just saying but maybe that's a better look maybe you can see it better right here look a lot of interesting things went on in that commercial my two cents basically of this right here is that be careful what you listen to music wise it doesn't matter if it's christian supposedly christian air quotes i'm doing here 
or secular because a lot of it is controlled and being prayed over by witches. I just caught the last few minutes of Days of Noah. Apparently he had Nicholson on there and RFB again. I'm going to have to listen to it. I didn't catch it. But the part I caught was that he was questioning um, the music part. Huh. Low vibrations. Yeah, yeah. But I really hope that he understands that most churches play secular music nowadays. Yes, E3, Hillsong, so many others, Voo Church. Um... I've been trying to do videos on this for a very long time. Please watch. And just doing yoga. All these pastors and things are doing yoga. But I'll get that back to that in just a second. So then the uh, Minthon is yelled. You can hear it. This will go well, Becca says as he's preparing. And look at his legs. Look at his legs. They are now half goat. (laughs) Unbelievable. Does it remind you of anything, I don't know, possibly something like this, like the Baphomet? Just like the two fingers up, this two finger salute, and everyone reminded me of the brownies. You know, they changed their salute, by the way, they added the third finger. But I did catch an older picture of where they had the two fingers. But just like the army that they are having them hold up their fingers here in Finland. And there's the newer version, the three fingers. But notice even here, on my honor, they're trying to cover the third. (laughs) And it does remind me of that right there, their badge, their gold award, just like the seraphim. Ah, yes, yes. No, but they wouldn't be teaching our kids, our girls and boys, things that go on there. No, 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 no. But anyway, back to the commercial, his goat legs, yes, Then he starts to run, he takes off, and it's still, as you see, misty air. He runs, and as he's going, I don't know if you caught it, but there was a goat noise. Yeah, so now he's hybrid, and he's making a goat noise. Wow, he's hybrid. Hmm, goat yoga, hybrid, everything they're doing right now, even in this world with this chaos. I'm just saying, with pastors' wives doing yoga and becoming a yogi, which means they had to bow down in front of someone. Look, I've been doing this for a long time, trying to wake up others. I I can only do so much. Celebrities are, are showing the way, and people are following them because it's on TV, it's on YouTube, it's wherever. And it reminds me of the iPet Goat. If you've never heard of it, you might want to take a look. Very interesting. That's all I'm saying. But back to the commercial. The goalie yelling, ah, because he scored or it hurt him so bad, whichever the case may be. But of course, it starts back up again with the M, and then it comes to Minthon, upgrade yourself. So he must have hit him really hard, but are you seeing everything I'm seeing? The 13, it's just all over the place. It's it's in the news. It's talking about the new thing, the Omicron. Yeah, see, Holland, 13. I'm not going to read that. It's in Finnish. I get it. But you see all their favorite numbers all the time. If you haven't seen it or caught it, I'm really surprised. I was just watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine with my daughter. And of course, there, I see all their favorite numbers at this one crime scene. (laughs) Unbelievable. And there, so much evidence. Yeah, exactly. There is so much evidence that it's mind-boggling that people aren't catching it. Their favorite numbers, they're plastering them everywhere. They want to make technology and everything look so good and easy that you're going to want to have it. But understand who's building all of this, who's controlling all of this. There's good and bad in everything, yes. And a lot of their buildings, by the way, you can see exactly who they are. You can It's clear as day, right? But then other places might not be so clear. You have to look a little closer, maybe on their building, on their signs, I don't know. But you can see them. They're in every single city. This one's in Toronto, by the way. Hmm. Yeah. 
So who controls this world? Well, you guys already know this. I don't need to go over that. This video is going to be too long. Know your enemy. That's all I keep saying. Know and test everything. Because Satan does not look like this. No, he's far from looking like this. I, I'm just saying. He does not. He might look something along this line. I'm just saying. He was an angel and an angel of music. You will know him by his number and clearly you can tell it all derives from Egypt and the ways of the wicked ones even back then. I hope you see and understand this and I just wanted to get this commercial out to you and add a bit more of what's going on that I noticed today. But remember God is in control. Do not let fear enter in. He will place your enemies at your footstool if you keep close to him and, and hold on. Keep praying and staying close to him. Do not live in fear. All right, God bless. There's your Minthon commercial. Have a great day. Till next time.